For more than 100 years, the Boy Scouts of America have been teaching boys to be trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, and all the other bits of the Scout law. So, of course, the left has always hated them. But now the Boy Scouts are ditching the first half of their name for the sake of gender equality. The Boy Scouts announced today that girls will be allowed to join the Cub Scouts. They'll also be creating a parallel organization for older girls who will let them attain the rank of Eagle Scout. Whatever happened to the Girl Scouts? Whatever. Charlie Kirk, the founder of Turning Point USA, he is an Eagle Scout, and he joins us tonight. Charlie, the reason I want to talk to you was this felt like the end of something and the beginning of something new. And maybe I'm reading too much into this, but it struck me as kind of a big deal. What does it mean, do you think? I, I think you're spot on. I think it, it is a continuation of the left's persistent attack on successful institutions in this country. Look, the Boy Scouts of America have been one of the most proven institutions to turn boys into men. And that means, in essence, to a developed and proven curriculum of having involvement in the community, leadership development, and so forth. Over 100 years, the Boy Scouts of America have had presidents, CEOs, so on and so forth. But this is consistent with what the academics are teaching the next generation, that genders are nothing more than a social con construct. They don't mean anything. That gender and sex are not related at all. And you and I both know that actually there's a good argument to be made, if not uh, truth behind the fact that boys are better at some things than girls and girls are better at some things than boys. But the well, worst part about this is what does it do to the Girl Scouts? I mean, the Girl Scouts, is all, they're also a hundred plus year uh, organization. They were founded uh, two, two years after the Boy Scouts of America. What does this do to the Girl Scouts of America? They released this statement uh, really condemning this. And so as an Eagle yeah. Scout, I'm disgusted and I'm disappointed to see this. But even before the current gender battles, which are obviously part of this, the left disliked the Boy Scouts, and I always thought it was because the Boy yes. Scouts are the two things they hate. They're wholesome and they're non-ironic. It's the same reason the left always hates the Mormons. They're, they're, there's no ironic inflection. They're just sincere. Why does that drive liberals so crazy? Well, it also goes to show why they're supporting these national anthem protests. They hate right. patriotism. And there's no group more than the Boy Scouts that have defended the flag or have engendered or fostered uh, patriotism amongst our youth. And one of the key components of being a Boy Scout is understanding the flag code and being involved in your local community and understanding what it means to actually serve your country. But what the left is trying to accomplish is a deconstruction of traditional values. And this, this goes back to the 1920s and 30s, and this is what the Marxists have been so effective in doing in overtaking our universities. And this is just another attack on a fundamental institution that has proven to be successful over the it last is. 100 years from turning boys into men. And men do matter, but the left does not think so. I, I absolutely agree with that. I don't think this, I don't be mocked for this, but it's not a small thing. It's a, it, there's something bigger. Charlie Kirk, thanks a lot. For